So the PMT function in Excel can help us calculate details about our loan payment so we can figure out what the principal and the interest is going to be. So imagine this scenario. We've got a car that we're going to buy that costs $20,000. But maybe what we're going to do is put 10% down as our down payment. And so what I'm going to do here for my down payment amount is take the car price and multiply it by that 10%. So I'm going to bring $2,000 cash when I go to buy the car. And so my actual loan amount is not going to be $20,000. It's going to be the price minus my down payment. So $18,000 is going to be the loan amount. Now let's say my annual interest rate is 2.5% and my loan period is five years. Now, even though the loan period is five years, I'm going to make payments every month. So the number of payments is going to be five years times 12 payments. So now let's use the PMT function. That's going to help us calculate our total payment. So what I'm going to do is type out PMT here. And then I want to select the rate, but I've got to adjust this because this is the annual interest rate and I'm making monthly payments. So I'm going to divide this by 12 and then I'm going to use a comma. Now I've got to identify the number of periods or the number of payments. So I'm going to take the loan period and then multiply that by 12. So I'm making 12 payments each year for five years. And then what I'm going to do for present value is select the loan amount. And then I'm going to close this and hit enter. So my loan payment, the total payment, principal plus interest, is going to be $319. Now this is showing up as a negative number. It's money coming out of our pocket. But if you want to convert this, you can just multiply it by negative 1. Now let's calculate the interest portion of our payment, at least at the start of the loan. Okay, so I can use the IPMT function for that. And I'm going to calculate the rate again. So I'm going to take the annual interest rate and divide it by 12. Now what I want to do next, though, is figure out what the interest is going to be at my first payment. So as you pay more of the loan off, the balance between the amount of interest and principal you pay changes. So oftentimes at the beginning of the loan, you pay more interest than you do principal. And so what we're saying here in this case for the period is that I want to know what the interest is going to be on my first payment. I could use a different payment if I wanted to, but I'm going to start with the first one. And then I'm going to use a comma, and I'm going to put the number of periods again, or the number of payments. And so I'm going to take the loan period in years and multiply that by 12. I'm going to put a comma and then select my present value, which is again, the loan amount. And then I'll close that and hit enter. So the interest portion of my payment at the start is going to be $38. Now let's calculate the principal portion of our payment. So what I'm going to do is use a function called PPMT. And I'm going to identify the rate again, which is the annual interest rate divided by 12. And then I'm going to put the period that I want to know the principal for, the principal portion of my payment, which is the first payment. Let's start with that one. And then for the number of periods, I'm going to put, again, the loan period in years and multiply that by 12. And then I'm going to use a comma. And then I'm going to choose my loan amount again as the present value and close that. So if you sum these two up, the interest in the principal, you're going to get $319. This is going to show you the breakout between your interest and your principal portions of your payment. And remember, you've got to think about with these IPMT or PPMT functions, what payment you want to know what the mix is between interest and principal. We just chose the first in this example, but you could change it to the fifth or the tenth or something else like that. Thanks for watching. Now, if you want the link to the sample file used in this video, it's down in the description as well as a link to an Excel course if you're interested.